Hello everybody, my name is Mateo Salvador. Welcome back to another episode of FSX. Today we are in Chicago, uh, O'Hare, uh, Kilo, Oscar, Romeo, Delta. And today we are taking a flight in our Delta A319 back to Cleveland Hopkins Airport. Uh, I do apologize for not recording many videos. I've been fairly busy this past week. Um, last week I had finals and then this week there was a lot of cleanup we were doing uh, and stuff like that around outside. Um, and I've just been really busy. Um, and happy June 1st. Today is Friday, June 1st, and you guys will probably see this video tomorrow, which is Saturday, June 2nd. Um, but let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. I already have FS passengers set up, but let's get some stuff started up here real quick so we can get our passengers running along with. Um, we can get our passengers loaded and boarded and all that good stuff and what else did I need to set up I think that's it let me load up my systems here real quick get all this stuff running and then we will get passengers coming in here I I uh, bleh, excuse me sorry um, I uh, installed the uh, skin on an on the Aerosoft A320 for a Wow Airlines, and I took a flight a few days ago from Iceland, 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 uh, down to what 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 airport was that? Like Kshevek or something like that, up in Iceland, and then I took a flight all the way down to Gotwick, and it was like a three-hour flight, which turned into a four-hour flight. And I was thinking about doing a six-hour flight on YouTube, and I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that. Suh. So, a little too long for me, I think, but let, let, let's get right into it. Let's get uh, boarding going here. That's going to ask me who I want to get boarding, right? No, maybe not. Yes, let's have American Airliner um, work with us today. We have 96 passengers today, and we are flying with 2.5 tons of cargo. And we'll just load that instant because it really doesn't matter. We'll have the doors open. Get those doors open right there. And then we can go to our in it page. Real quick. Have this working so that we can see our systems and all. And then we're going to put Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta to Kilo Charlie Lima Echo. Have that loaded in there. Our flight number is Delta 69 or 3. Cost index is going to be 30. Flight level 380. Uh, correction, my flight level is actually flight level 350. My mistake. Um, preferences 175 for V1, 178 V2, 185 for V, uh, no V2. Rotate 178 knots. Flaps 2. Um, I think we're having this at 53 degrees. And, oh yes, I gotta go back here. Um, actually, do I? Oh, you know what? I, uh, I'm trying to think, hold on, sorry. Uh, all right, let me listen to ATIS real quick so we can figure out what runway we're taking off from. We might have to do this later, I'm not sure. Let me get my Chicago chart out. This is my Chicago chart. Yes, where are we located actually? I have a chart. But let's do. Let's use our little machine device here and figure out where we're located. Oh, I know where we're located. Oh yeah, we're located right there. Because runway. Uh, runway. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see. So that runway right there should be Tanko. Okay, I see. Okay, I see. I gotcha. Gotcha. All right, so that means we're probably taking off our runway 28 right. Or we're taking off a runway 10 left. 10 left? Is that 10 left? Yes, that's 10 left. Okay. Let, let's listen to ATIS real quick and figure out exactly where we are going. I already typed that in. Yes. Four, 
Alright, so we're taking off of runway 8 right. Alright, yeah, we're taking off of runway 28 right. I hope this works. Last time it didn't work. 28 right. And I guess we're taking that one. So it's in it. Don't need to listen to you again. We're running with 19.2 tons of fuel. Should write all this other crap in that we need, and we don't need those flight discontinuities because it's just going to screw up our flight level thing here. I have been practicing with landing. Um, yesterday I did a flight from Cleveland CLE, KCLE to here, uh, Kilo Oscar, Romeo Delta, Chicago O'Hare, and uh, I actually did it twice. I had to redo it. Um, it was really weird. Hold on one second. Sorry. Um, so I land, and it was a really smooth landing. And I'm crossing the runway. So here, I'll, I'll, let me just move to my, uh, my overhead map here. All right, so I'm taking off of runway 28. I'm landing runway 28, right? That's this runway right here. And uh, so I land. You know, perfectly fine. And as I'm crossing this runway here, I hear a big bang. And I know it's from the game, right? Because it couldn't have been from outside. I, I would have known if it was outside in, in real life. And all of a sudden, the aircraft takes a swing this way. Like, I, it, it starts turning to the right. And my co-pilot in FS Passengers is like, Oh my god, we just blew a tire. But it was amazing because it felt like I just got hit by an aircraft. I don't know why it was amazing, but it felt amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my story. And then I took another flight here from Cleveland, and I landed so perfectly fine. And then I was right here, and my computer crashed. And I was cracking up. I was laughing. I don't understand why I was laughing. Because for some reason, this message popped up, and it's like, you're a computer. And then the whole thing just shut down. So I really don't know what happened. It was kind of weird. Cabin is secure. All passengers are aboard. All right, sounds good. Let's play them some music. Ba -ba -ba. Perfect. Boarding is also complete. Very nice. Wait for all of our vehicles to get away here. Yes, I know. You want me to shut my doors and stuff like that. <coughs> uh, there should be another airport CEO video coming out soon. Uh, I just have to re-edit it because there's some things that I accidentally put in the video and I, I messed up editing a little part so I just gotta go back in and change it. Uh, ooh. Hmm. It's a little funky. Hold on one second. If it wants me to take out, why is it telling me to do that? That's weird. Here, let me try something real quick. Hold on. So if I insert that... <coughs> this is so weird. Hold on one second. I need to fix this real quick because I'm going to get some OCD. Let's get catering while we're working with this. Sky Chefs. Oh, there you go. It's fixed. Okay, I don't know why that was so screwed up. It's fixed. Okay, that's kind of funky. Look at that Continental over there. I did find uh, an MD-11. I want to fly an MD-11 in this game, and I, I was looking at a few. I think there's one on Aerosoft, uh, the creators of this aircraft, and I want to get it because I love those tri-jet, those tri-jet aircraft. Man, if this couldn't be any louder. Oh, it couldn't be any louder, you know what I'm saying? Wrong side of the headphone, you know? Where more audio is on the left hand side, or the right hand side, even though the vehicles are on the left hand side, you know what I'm saying? There's our vehicles coming in here. 
remember timestamps are in the description, so if you would like to skip ahead, you may. We should be at the runway in approximately 10 to 15 minutes. And then we will be good to rock and roll out of here. Bloody heck out of Dodge. Uh, should be sunrise by the time we get to Hopkins, so it won't stay this dark the whole time. Uh, but when we get to Hopkins, it should be just sunrise. Um, and that will be good right. Oh man, it's gonna really gonna do that glitchy crap on me where it's gonna spawn me right through it so let me do my other camera here uh gotta go to the right i want this to be my like my just mid-flight camera you know you know how they do it on some aircraft so they'll put the cameras right here and you can just see ahead and we'll go to the first officer's panel wait for the guys to come up real quick with their machinery and stuff like that so I don't know if this video is going to be two parts or not, we'll have to see. I probably will split it in half if it's two hours, you know, one hour per video. Um, for space sake and stuff like that. We can move away our jetway in just a second. Uh, and then we can shut those lights. We're going to have to shut off the cabin lights, get the oh, probe window heat, that stuff on, APU bleed and then get all of our other crap on. But that is once we are done in here. And that every all of our cargo and stuff like that is loaded in so that we can uh, get ourselves moving here. I did want to, I do want to start going on Batsim. I feel like Batsim would be a lot of fun for me. I've been playing this game for quite a while on single player. I did play one time on multiplayer. Um, this was when I was still using the default aircrafts that I was playing online. Um, I was, this was way before I even knew how to fly even. Um, I knew how to taxi, take off, but landing, I didn't know how to land. I would land by just falling out of the sky at like 6,000 feet per minute and no flaps, full power. You know, the good old days, you know, when you didn't know how to fly in this game. And then eventually you started watching other people do it. And now I'm here, okay? I do have a PDMG aircraft. I think I've talked about the PDMG before. I want to start learning the PDMG because it is a very difficult aircraft to learn and it is very in-depth and PDMG does an amazing job with their aircrafts and stuff like that. Uh, they have the uh, McDo's, the MCDU or the FMC, whatever you want to call it. I always call it MC, FMC, Flight Management Computer, because technically it is kind of like a computer. You put all your flight management stuff in there to get this data here um, and, you know, whatnot. But uh, someone did ask me what I prefer as far as aircrafts go. So I prefer the A320 series over the 737, like the Boeing 737. But I prefer the 747 over the A380. I don't know. I just don't like the, Bo the, the Boeing A380. There we go. No, I, I don't like the Airbus A380. I don't know why. It's a double-decker, but I, I don't know. I, I like the Boeing 747. It's maybe because it's older. I don't know, I, I just like it better. Um, in the middle has got to be the MD-11 though. I really do like the MD-11 and DC-10, those tri-jet uh, aircrafts. I don't know why, I, they're just, they're very unique, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we can shut all our cargo doors and prepare ourselves for a pushback. Let me shut off this light real quick. Wait for these guys to get away. Now we can start working all of our other things. We can also get the jetway to move away. Because we do not need the jetway. Oof. Okay. Prepare ourselves for pushback. Let me make sure that everybody is sitting down in their seats. ourselves prepare for pushback prepare for put uh nose left we'll do nose left no i do not want to start engines before pushback because we need to get our apu and all that good stuff on um
that, that on, and then we can go here. I already have that on, and then once that stuff gets working and that thing says available, we can start our pushback procedures and everything. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Got it. I'm not ready for pushback yet. 250. Perfect. Wait, hold on one second. We don't need, we're not ready to uh, disconnect our ground power yet, because i got to wait for that thing to stay available and for that thing to get full. Flaps are currently open. That is okay. I won't put my flaps until we're actually near the runway, and then, you know, once we're waiting and all that good stuff. Just waiting for that stuff to load in. Well, to, you know... Chill out, GSX. You're going to get your time, okay? All right. Can shut off that external power deal. We do not need our external power. It's not what I meant to hit. Ground services, we can move our cones and stuff like that, and then they'll get everything ready. We'll request IFR to KCLE. Oh, 7901? I thought I put... Okay, well... Whatever. I guess the flight number really doesn't matter, right? It's realistic. It's fine. No, that's my JetBlue that it's 693, whatever. I do have a JetBlue A380. 9,000, okay. Release parking brakes. Hold on, I'm not ready to, to release the parking brake. 1173, that's already 1173, perfect. Hold on. Alright, hold on, okay. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start that wheel. Perfect, okay. Um, yes, contact ground, 121 decimal 675. Decimal 675. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the captain one, and crew, two, welcome one, aboard this flight. Five, eight, we bad, hope sorry. you enjoy flying with Not us today. Me. Before takeoff, we encourage you to watch our cabin crew display the safety features of this aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention to the cabin crew while we display the safety features and procedures of this aircraft in case of an emergency. Oh yes, of course. We have the tiniest pushback in the world pushing us out here. Right? Like, yeah. Real quick, who else is taxiing out? Nobody. Flight may not inflate even though oxygen is flowing. We have if nobody. If there is smoke in the cabin, the walkway emergency lighting will display to the exit, which are located here. We have literally and nobody here. moving. In case of an extreme emergency. I think we have somebody moving over there somewhere. That seems... Which is executed by placing your head between your knees with your hands So weird, your usually head. when I'm here, everybody in their three so brothers are moving. Set and parking brake. And that mobile phones must not be used for the duration of the flight. We thank you for your attention during this brief presentation. Alright, they'll get the... Finally, look, KLM. Yes, he's the uh, one cargo aircraft that's over there. Here, let's go find him real quick. He's that one. No, he's not. No, he's not. Wrong KLM. Alright, he's gonna come over there and tell us that we are clear. Of course, I forgot to start up the second engine because I'm an idiot. That's fine, though. By the time they're even done and we're ready to get moving, he'll be... <coughs> Did he move to the side? No, he didn't. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, there he is. Left is clear. Right is clear. Oh, hello. Freaking generator aircraft thing. We started up. Wow, that engine started up so quickly. All right. <clears throat> Let me contact ground. Request takeoff clearance. Cargo ground, Delta 7901, Man, that is a whole boatload of instructions, eh? Alpha, Alpha 16. 
why would why would you want me to change to Mike and then go to Mike 16? So Alpha Alpha 16 is way over there. Okay, so we're currently on Alright, got it. <coughs> I hear you. I'm going. Alright, let's start moving out here. Oh, hello. has been a little finicky lately. I did get sick last week. I was sick. I had like a really bad sore throat and then it was bad. So Alpha 16 Delta Mike 7 Mike Mike 7. There's no point of going back to Mike 7. We're just going to um, might as well just stay on Mike. Where is Mike even? Okay so we have to end right there. You want me to turn Alpha 16 Go to Delta. Alpha 16. Go to Delta. That must be Delta. Okay, so I have to turn right here. Right, we're not perfectly center aligned, but that's okay. That's... So this is Alpha. Okay. We need to turn down mic 7, which I don't even know where mic 7 is. Where is mic 7? What does that say? Bravo. Yeah, we're just going to go down. Oh, wait. No, I have to go all the way down to Alpha 16, which is way down over there somewhere. There's the KLM Heavy. No, he's not. He's a UPS. Yeah, the Airbus is taking his sweet butt time to get off the dang runway, you know? You know when you're on Vatsim and stuff like that, and those people take like 10 hours just to get off the runway, and then you have to go around because the dummy ain't just there. <coughs> Granted, I've never played on Vatsim. I've watched a lot of Vatsim videos. Um, and tr Oh, Treams, yes. I've, I've watched a lot of Treams. No, no, I've watched a lot of Vatsim streams. And Vatsim looks really fun. Because it's like real people and stuff like that. And it's a blast. Bravo. Alpha 11. Alpha 12. How ironic that Alpha 12 comes after Alpha... Alpha... I'm just going to shut up now. There's no point of talking. Okay, there's... Mike 7 must be somewhere over there. You see how it said Mike? There's Mike 2. Okay, so maybe Alpha... Al after Alpha 16, we go straight forward to Mike. That's that's what I'm guessing. Obviously, we have to pay attention to our signage here. And uh, double check exactly what is happening and what is not happening. There's Alpha 13. Alpha 14 is right here. And then Alpha 15 and Alpha 16 is right there. Right there, yo. Okay. U.S. Airways right there. I like the U.S. Airways livery. I should install one for the uh, Airbus. Here, let me move forward real quick. And we are going insanely fast. Actually, I can move back just a little bit. We'll move it to like right there. Did I just pass it? This is Alpha 16 right here. E no, it's not. That is Alpha 16 right there. Okay, got it. I hear you. Oh, unless this one's Alpha 16. Okay, this is Alpha 16. So we got to go straight. This is Bravo. So turning right here would be going on to Bravo. So we just have to keep going straight. Navigation with Salvador. Why don't you think about that? I don't even know what I just said. Navigation with Salvador. If you suck at uh, navigation, then uh, watch this video and you might 
see like, oh, the signages, the signages help out a lot. Bravo, Mike five, so, okay, so we're back to that time after time after time again thing. Delta two, you know, I'm always parked at that terminal over there, legit. Like last time I was playing, uh, I was gonna record this, I was actually parked just over there. And there are like seven trillion aircrafts that are going around. The air traffic controller is on like permanent drugs or something. <coughs> Maybe it's like a time-based thing or something, like. Mike six means Mike seven is right there. There he is. We are not center aligned either with the uh, whatchamacallit. Looks like we got a guy on final for only 2-8, right? Been playing a lot of um, uh, Tower 3D. I was uh, controlling at Jackson Hartsfield, uh, which is in Atlanta. And I gotta say, that is tiring. I was playing and I was getting so stressed out because I had like 50 aircrafts I was working with at once. And all these aircrafts were coming in. I told you, I, I told you, I tell you, I had like, I was telling everybody to go around because I had no space. Everybody was on the runway and I'm just like, oh my God. What does he want me to go to after Mike? He wants me to go to Mike just so I can get back on Mike 7, which just makes no sense at all. Mike is right here. Yeah, Mike would be right there, but what's the point of doing that? Like, look, he wants me to... So, here's what the controller just told me to do. Check this out. This is what the controller just technically told me to do. Uh, so, we're right here. He wants me... He want, so He wanted me to go here and then somehow get back over here. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Like, no, why, why does that even make any sense at all? Maybe it's because this is scenery or something, because I installed it as, like, a scenery, Chicago scenery pack. And I got to say, Chicago looks amazing um, with the scenery pack. But you really can only notice it if you're flying a Cessna or something tiny. You're really not going to pay attention to it if you're, like, you know, flying an Airbus or something. Oh, I forgot to turn on music. Let's turn on some music for this period of time. Takeoff music, right? Approaching two, seven, left. No joke, man. Two, seven? Wait a minute. Oh, so, okay, this is not the right runway. Nope, it's not. Oh my God, we have an aircraft coming inbound. Good thing we stopped. So he wanted me to go. This is 2-8. No, this is the right runway. I was about to go on the runway. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. Feeling with my cameras here. Look at that dude. He just landed on the runway. And then he's going to take... Oh, look, there's the cargo aircraft that I was talking about. The United, or Continental. He looks like an Airbus, I think. Let's, let's talk to Tower real quick, get our clearance. Sorry, I had to reset my camera. 127 decimal 925 delta 7901. I, so I guess they must conclude this as runway 28, 28 left. Oh, the A321. Yeah, it's a nice one. Wait, unless that's a... That might not be. That might actually... No. Oh! Oh, no, oh, no that's, a, that's a Boeing. No, it's not. Alright, we got... We're giving takeoff clearance. We can shut that down now. Alright, let's 
get going out of here. Oh, my voice cracked right there. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Set that like that real quick. Hopefully, all goes well. And we don't die. Because dying's bad. On runway. I don't know what seven, the controller left. was thinking when he said Mike 7, go to Mike, then back to Mike 7. What if I stopped and that the freaking uh, Boeing 747 behind us would have just, uh, the Boeing 747F would have just collided with us. Please take off. crash. I just saw you do that thing and it scares me when you do that. Okay, we're going to be able to take off. This is good. This is good. We're getting to V1. Rotate. Not yet. V1. Rotate. rotate. There we go. V2. Oh, whoa. What was that? That was weird. All right. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. Laps down. One three three point one. Oh, all right. We'll get all this stuff working with them. One three three decimal one delta seven nine one. Chicago departure level seven nine one with you at three thousand uh, flight level three two zero four nine zero zero. That's not flight three two zero. That's flight three zero. I, think I did that totally wrong. My math in my head. Oh, shoot. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, can you slow down? Nine miles. Oh, no, uh, yeah. See the guy. Yeah, he's the guy. Oh, yeah, he's the dude who's taking off right there. Yeah. He's the guy who just took off, and he's like somewhere over there. About. Hey, can I please tell you that I have the aircraft in sight? the traffic, all right? Why am I all the way over there? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, see, you would never notice the kind of the textures, but I have to say it looks way better than the default one. Transition altitude at flight level one zero zero. We're almost above the clouds. I like this. It's it's fun to be flying right in the cloud level, you know? Hope you guys could hear that. Sorry, I was Adjusting myself so I could be a little more comfortable. No, 
Hey, don't crash. Play level 150, Delta 7901. or something from the outside. Let's do... No, let's not do that one. Are we, are we at uh, cruising altitude? Hold on one second. Let me get... Uh, those could come on. Apologize. Uh, what do I want? I want that one. It's a little finicky on the camera, I must admit. Or maybe if I can do this one. Let's see if I can find another one. I think I'll do one of the outside of this one. Let's just do this one. Take some pictures of it for like a thumbnail or something, you know. And then we'll zoom in. Oh, shoot. Oh no, I just did that. Hold on. Hey, you know what? I think we're actually going to talk about that. <coughs> Sorry. Something in my throat, I don't know what's happening. Really bad. Alright. Feel a little better now. Alright, let's increase our speed to 250 knots. I did spectate uh, MD-11 yesterday when I was flying to Chicago from KCLE. Um, I have to say it was actually pretty cool. I, I like the MD-11. Those tri-jets are amazing. I don't know why. I love them. Oh, look. You can see the uh, sun starting to come up over there. Almost kind of really, almost really. Maybe not. Either that, or there's a really big city over there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know it's the sun up there. I'm not that dumb. I ain't that dumb, okay? All right, let's uh, go to our uh, little camera, and then I'll just uh, leave you guys for a little while just to watch the uh, aircraft kind of flying about. Remember, there are timestamps in the description, so you can't skip ahead. This is YouTube, not live stream, so. <laughs> I was looking on Steam. Uh, there's a game that recently came out called Airport Simulator 2019, I think. Or actually, they title it 2018, but it says 2019. I don't know what the deal with it is. Um, I was taking a look at it. As of right now, I don't think I will get it. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Oh, my God. Did you see that? I hope you all saw that. Oh man, that was close. Oh look, he was talking about me, oh my gosh. Traffic alert, one o'clock, less than one mile, 14 uh, Airbus, that was for that guy right there. He was talking to that guy because he was so close to me, that was actually kind of cool, I have to admit. 127 decimal five, 
55. Decimal 55. I don't even know what I'm doing. this thing down. Man, there's just never a break for pilots, is there? <coughs> oh, do you feel that? Oh, do you feel that turbulence? That's kind of cool. Okay. Taking a look at this uh, airport simulator, and it doesn't have the best of reviews. It, it's pretty bad reviews, actually. It's it's only like three out of the twenty reviews are good. And I have one of their older games. I think it's like Airport Simulator 2017 or 16 or something. And I, I do have to admit, um, the games they have created are not the best. Airport Simulator 2019 is what it's called, but the trailer said 2018. Um, I don't know. It says mostly negative. 25% of all the reviews are negative. It came out yesterday, May 31st. Damn, what are you doing? Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, four out of the nine, or uh, four out of the... Uh, ten out of the... Th not ten. Four out of the 13 reviews are positive, so... Get pretty bad reviews lately. Uh, I think what I I don't like about it is that it's very competitive. Altimeter setting. What's about setting? Oh right, yes, yes, yes. I hear you. Okay. Um, I think that what I am a little iffy about it is because it's very repetitive. I played their older one, and I have to say it gets a little old after a little while, where you start to become a little lazy and robotic and. You just kind of want to crash things and break vehicles and stuff like that. I have the best idea for an airport simulator game like this one. If you guys don't know what airport simulator is, real quick. Uh, airport simulator series, you're basically a, a, a ramp agent. You know, you take the cargo, you know, the catering, the jetway, or jet bridge, however you call it. Uh, push back, uh, follow me vehicles, all that type of deal. Um, and my look on it is it's a little repetitive and it's just like one of those like eh. I have the perfect idea for that game what they can do there is a game that came out a little while ago and it's perfect it's everything I've been looking for in the game uh, I don't remember what it's called I know Corral is fine I guess if I can find it you're sure well hold on one second let me contact let me contact them real quick. One three five decimal nine. Wow. Of course, you're gonna talk to everybody, including somebody from my own company. Fine, I'm just gonna send it in. Flight 216 for, uh, yeah. Alright, let me find it. I know Corral has played this game, and it's perfect. It's, it's, it could make the perfect, um, airport simulator ramp agent game somewhere over here. I know he played it, I think, back in like March or something. Corralis. Man, this is going to be many videos back. I played like three episodes of it. Oh, I'm contacting them. Okay. 127.55 Delta 791. That was easy. There's a dude just down there. Okay. 
Flight Manager uh, 2018. I do have Flight Manager 2018. It's, it's a little, I'm a little iffy about it. There's some physics that I could just say, like, they need to fix the physics before I can call it very realistic. The graphics for it are amazing, I have to admit. Um, the vehicles, when they move, are jittery. Um, like, they kind of jitter back and forth when they're moving. The only way you really can't tell that they're jittering back and forth when they're driving is if you are, like, all the way zoomed out and in 3x. Okay, got it. So the game that I'm looking at um, that could make the perfect, if it uses, like, the same type of concept as, like, the way it's made. So it's called Emergency... Call No Truth. Okay, so No Truth 122 or Emergency Call 112. Um, and basically, you're working with a team of AI, and it's so cool because the AI are amazing. Um, so you're working with a crew of AI, and each AI, including yourself, have a different job and you're supposed to do those jobs to get the job done. So for example, you could be the guy getting out the hoses, the other guy who's an AI could be the guy trying to put the hoses together. Um, and... Oh, I'm fine. Hold on a second. Oh, man, this is no good. Okay, so this is what Let's do... This one. Okay. So, if you've never seen the emergency one, we'll go watch Corrales. He made it a little while back. I put a link in the description of all of them, if I remember. Uh, but it, it's, a, it's a great idea, and it would, be a, it would make a perfect... The idea of how the AI work would make a perfect airport ramp agent simulator. Uh, okay. Go contact. Okay. So, as I said, you're basically, you have like this big office, it's like you can go through the entire office and everybody's doing work, and then when you go on a call, you get in a truck, and everybody has their own job, you can drive the truck if you wanted to, or an AI can drive the truck, and if they put that into an airport, uh, concept where it's like you're working with a crew to manage an aircraft it would be amazing I could see that being a really really fun game because I've been looking for a game just like this where you're working in a team with AI you're playing as one of the people with the AI and I, I just think that's a great idea I like it it, it uh, granted I, I don't have it I mean I, I think I should get the game it's kind of a cool concept uh, but it's called Emergency Call 112, and you're basically a fireman with a group of AI trying to put out fires, and the AI are very smart. Um, but if you make that into a flight simulator, or not a flight simulator, but a, like a ramp agent simulator, and I think it would be pretty good. Um, you know, being able to work many different jobs would definitely allow people to play it longer, I think, because it wouldn't be necessarily as repetitive do the different jobs or you know you could drive a whole bunch of different things therefore every time you do it it's a little different you know um, besides having different aircrafts and whatnot I think it's a great idea have they made it have they ever talked about making it I don't know I don't know but it'd be cool if they did um, and then I was looking at squirrel play bus simulator And that one is pretty much just like Bus Simulator 2016. I love the concept of Bus Simulator 2016, how you can own buses and you're basically your own bus line. I love that. I think it's amazing. Um, I do think that there are a few 
things they need to fix with the bus simulator as far as graphics go. Oh, I'm contacting them, bro. Okay. Man, I've been with this guy for like past a while. Okay. Bus Simulator 2016. Um, there are a few things that I hope they added, like when you're printing out tickets, that it actually had like a ticket printing animation. Um, but it doesn't, and I know the other one did either. Yes, um, I was started another game called House Flipper. House Flipper, 19 bucks on Steam. Uh, well, you rounded up it's 20 bucks. And I gotta say, it's a pretty good game. Basically, the idea of the game is you're kind of like a repairman in a way. And I, I guarantee most people here have probably seen it. But you buy a house or you go to a house and you're supposed to clean it up or do something. And the generic idea of the game is you buy a house, you fix up that house, and then you sell it. And um, I, I, I like it. I definitely think that the designing is pretty amazing. There are a few things that are pretty tedious, but the game is overly realistic. I have to admit, the game is very, very, very realistic. Painting is a very tedious job in this game, just like it is in real life. I painted things. I painted walls before in real life. I, it's a very tedious job. Um, and the cleaning, it's very tedious. I gotta admit, it's too realistic, okay? I don't know how you make a game so realistic. Like, dang. Okay, I'm contacted. Wow, we're already cleaning. Look at that. The sun's coming up. That'd be an amazing picture if you can get the sun just on the horizon over there. Man, I gotta take that picture and it's becoming my thumbnail. 120.45. Delta 790. This is why I want to do Batson so much. I'm going to try to work with Batson and stuff like that. I did join Batson once and I was a little freaked out because the, I, I, I contacted a tower. I didn't talk to him, but I was uh, a light, like I had my radio frequency to him. And he was contacting me. I was in the Lufthansa and he was like, Lufthansa, and then he said my number. I don't remember what it was. Um, my flight number. And he's like, what do you want? What do you, you know, and then he's just, he typed in a message, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And I was just like, okay, I guess I'm supposed to be talking. And I, I didn't talk. I just was kind of listening to hear what, you know, we are talking about. I was just kind of listening. Oh, look at that. Do you notice there's like some weather over there? on our TCAS. Isn't this the T? No, the TCAS is down. It's the TCAS, I can't remember. TCAS, right? Whatever, our flight display windows. F FTWs. <laughs> I don't know what they call them. Man, look at Oh yes, I, I started playing City Skyline again. City Skyline. So I, I opened up City Skyline, opened up a map, used no mods at all. I had, well, no script. I, I used all my scripted mods, but none of the asset mods that I had installed. And then I go to log back in yesterday, and all my mod mods, my scripted mods, are disabled. And I'm like, I don't remember what scripted mods I had enabled. So I just started enabling a few of them, and it crashed a whole bunch of things. And I was like, oh, okay, that's great. So now I gotta go figure that out while that's doing that. It's kinda of funky. We 
could definitely zoom it in later. Like we're flying to the sun, you know? They did an amazing job on this. Look at that. Oh, I, I should definitely take a photo of this. Look at that. There we go. Oh, did I, did I remove this camera back? No, I didn't. Okay, it's still there. You want me to zero nine, um, heading 90, zero nine, zero. Woo! Did you just see that spike in speed right there? Why did my thing just spike? You know what? We've had the seatbelts on for these people for so long, and we're like halfway there, so... The captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. You may now take off your seatbelt. We'll be okay, okay? Nobody's gonna die. Things will be okay. Yeah, see, look, people's adrenaline's going down. Turn seatbelts off, and the drinks, and the movies, and drunk people are sad. <coughs> drunk people are satisfied, so that you know they they're satisfied when they're gonna die. Look at that United aircraft, it's United Seven Three Seven, those older ones. One twenty eight decimal six two five. Also seven nine one. But it just moved something over here. Whoa! Oh my god. Turn it on or watch him a call real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the seatbelt sign as we are currently experiencing some turbulence. Please return to your seat oh. and your seat belt. Oh, ow. I want to start working with X-Plane. Um, one of the Airbus is an X-Plane, I believe it's an add-on, has a screen right here. And you can search up YouTube videos and stuff like that, and go on your, like, uh, diagram pages. I print out all my diagrams. I'm a very hands-on, physical um, type of person. Descend and maintain flight level 320. Alright, well, we can shut that off for right now. We'll, we'll get them on seatbelts once, we, um, once we reach. Once we get down to, like, you know, 2-0. Might as well have the last few minutes to, you know walk around, go to the bathroom real quick, because we absolutely forgot to take off the seatbelts this flight. It's Delta Airlines, you're flying with Salvador, you don't get to stand up, he's a dictator. Confirm. Our speed. Oh my god. You've been decreasing your speed this whole flight, bro. Why don't you just go all the way down? Now you go to 280 the moment that I'm like, yeah, we need to decrease our speed like it's our job to. There's Lake Erie. I don't know why we didn't have enough time to get all the way up there. Usually I'm always able to get to 350. Maybe it's like the wind or something. Like there's a big ball of gas over there. Damn, we're experiencing some turbulence. I would like to know the turbulence yesterday at the Hopkins Airport. Uh, yesterday there was a big thunderstorm. Literally, it was hail and it was bad. It literally looked like the, a hurricane. Um, I was sitting in the middle of a forest, ironically. Uh, it wasn't actually in the middle of a forest. I was inside of a building in the middle of a forest. Um, so I was kind of sitting in the middle of the forest. And the rain came down. It literally looked like the jungle. Just how much rain was coming down. And the bad thing was, is I literally planted 
grass seeds literally like 20 minutes before them. So the grass seeds probably all washed away, <laughs> unfortunately. But you know, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do, right? Not the reason I turn on the seatbelt signs. I turn on the seatbelt signs because we are decreasing. Okay, you know what? It's fine. You guys want to take off the seatbelts? Just take them off. I don't really don't care. Your safety is the least of my problems. How bad of a pilot I'd be, right? When we descend, we're gonna do a nose dive. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing a nose dive, falling at five thousand feet per second, which actually happened once, and the AI was being really dumb, because the AI absolutely had no concern about my aircraft. I was in a 747, the default 747, and my two engines on the left-hand side failed, and so I had no engines on the left-hand side, and the aircraft just fell. At like I was at 40,000 feet, and then it came to like 10,000 feet in the matter of like 20 seconds. Not really. It came to like I don't know how high I was. It was more like, more like two seconds. Okay, two seconds later, I was at forty thousand feet. Two seconds later, I'm at ten thousand feet. Thirty thousand feet per second. Um, a little crazy. And the, the you want to know what the ATC said? Contact New York departure. That was that was their response. Well, guess you're dead. Perfect. I love two four right. That's a good runway to land on. They always have the AI land on runway 24 left. I don't understand it. I literally just had ILS 24 right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are descending to our destination. Please ensure all portable electronic devices are switched off as you will be It's not why we're attempting the seatbelt signs on you, dude. I mean, I guess I'll, you know. The pilot's a dictator. Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are descending to our destination. Please ensure all portable electronic devices are switched off as you will be stopped. Let me look at my... Okay, so we got a turn and then we should be going over Cleveland, so... Who do we got with us? No 747s, only 737s, and all those aircrafts. One three thousand. Alcohol makes passengers joyful. One percent uh, satisfactory rating. <laughs> down here. Alcohol makes passengers joyful. Plus 1%. Well, I didn't know we were such alcoholics. Oh my god. This was a good flight. I gotta admit, it went way faster than I thought it did. Holy shoot. Than I thought it would have. Please expedite and your descent. So you want me to go at like 6,000 feet per minute? Fine. Oh, I know why. It's because you ain't even descending. There you go. See how fast you're descending? That makes me happy. Hey look, it wants us to go at 210. The uh, computer system was like, you need to be going at 210. Um, 210, uh, uh, 210 knots. Nautical miles, knots. Nuts. We're going, <laughs> We're going at 210 nuts, everybody. Knots, because we like to make knots, and so I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What's wrong with me? Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Let me see, what? What else can I talk about from there to now? There is a new police simulator coming out, and it's not the one you think of. I think it's called Keep the Peace. So Keep the Peace is basically a strategic police simulator and as you're basically, it's, it's like a 3D version of, I don't know if you could call it a 3D version. It, 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 I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. You kind of got to see a trailer for it. I think that they're currently doing a uh, kickstart thing for it. But it looks really promising. It's got like bobblehead characters, kinda. But the graphics are pretty good. Like for the type of game it is, you really can't have amazing graphics because then the game would look really bad. But I gotta say, look, it, it looks pretty good. I, I I'll play it. Let's see. I mean, I don't know when it's coming out, but currently on Kickstart, so I can't. I don't imagine it'd be for... I don't imagine that it'll be for... I don't imagine that it'll be out soon. Because, I mean, they're just on the kickstart. But you're basically... You're in a city with very little We're passing order. Transition altitude, Captain. Very little order. And the police... They, the city is in need, police, in need of police, and you are put in the task of being the chief of police, basically. Three four zero. Null hand off. Four five. Okay. Cleveland Center, Delta 7901 with you at 7,100 for 1,300. Yeah, we're supposed to get this thing rolling. I almost forget it. Transition altitude, I have to change that from standard something. What does that stand for? I always said standard instrument departure, but that wouldn't be right. That's not what I want. Um, I know a lot of you are probably thinking <laughs> the same thing I'm thinking when I've seen that. Scheduled time of departure. Skip, skip, skip. Scheduled time of departure is what it's called. So, it is the departure time specified on the boarding pass and it is tentatively planned time for the aircraft to depart. ETD stands for expected time of the de departure. STD, STD uh, on the Airbus means standard. Okay, so it's like the standard uh, Q and H uh, altimeter setting. Uh, altimeter setting. The standard altimeter setting, which once you get to transition altitude, which is when you turn off the other things, uh, you know the lights and whatnot, which I should probably. Oh yeah, I already have those on. Um, when you have the uh, instrument departure and all that good stuff. Why are we flying over Lake Erie? 
Wow, we still got a little distance to go. We're actually supposed to be right here, so I guess we really don't. So he wants to take me through Canada all the way over here, and hopefully we'll go out here so I can have like a long the airport. I don't know. I'm realizing there's a lot of water. I don't know. I don't like going this way, mate. I wonder. Can we see... Oh, there's an airport right over there. Please don't lag on me. You were doing so good. 24 frame... 27... 30... Okay. Not even going to say. Game runs really smooth, actually. Oh my god, okay. What's our current altitude at? Oh my god, there's no break. Okay, we're at 13,000 feet. Perfect. We're doing fine. Uh, we can go a little faster, I think. Let's just go up to 25. Sorry, my bad. I was looking at something real quick. I have this uh, little Chromebook that I have in front of me and I was doing something on it. Trying to get some stuff done. Why does it always want me to depart to... Oh, oh yes, that's right. Alright, we're going all the way to 200 knots. Bless you, dude. My co-pilot just sneezed right in my ear. Let's see, what is my review on Amazon? Quizstar.com. You want me to turn more towards the water? <coughs> review for Mateo Salvador. Five out of five. Quite possibly the product of the year as of June 1st, 2018. I waited months for the amazing item to be released, and I'm not disappointed. Fun, loyal, and full of amazing surprises. Do not hesitate. Bye. So, apparently I'm a very, 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 uh... I, I guess I have a 5 out of 5. Hey, I'm going, okay? Chill. I'm going, chill. You want me to, like, run this thing into the water or something? I'll run into the water. And y'all realize that I'm really not... Not, not, not a, like, a safe pilot. Wait, did, did that guy tell me what my altimeter is? It's still the same thing. Timits are 2984. Wait, who did he say? 125 decimal 35. Delta 791. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I almost sneezed right there. I don't know, I started talking and all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. That was weird. A little funky if you ask me. Yeah, I hear ya. I gotta slow down because we're gonna go like 5,000 knots. Whoa, that scared me. The co-pilot just shut off the lights because we're getting up to the point of daylight. Yo, if we go as slow as I can, we'll be fine. No Boeing 747. We got a lot of Boeing here. A little A380s. Uh, not A380s. A320 uh, series. Spear Airlines. At this very nicely detailed airport, actually. Spear Airlines. I actually watched one of these come into the uh, Hopkins Airport. I was uh, coming out of a train station, actually. <laughs>
Oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. right in the clouds. I hate when I'm coming on those foggy approaches. This is actually a really good weather. This is the first good weather I've had in a while in this game. Most of the time I have like rainy weather. <laughs> Watch me say that and then all of a sudden it turns into like a full-blown thunderstorm or something. What time is it? 9 4 We've been flying for a good hour and 20 minutes. This might only be one, one episode. We'll have to see. Oh, I th look at this rain. what I tell you? Dang it. Man, this is really scary down here, that white stuff. Why are we so up north? So what he wants me to do is he wants me to, he wants to me to go this way. Okay, so he wants me to do like a, an easterly approach. Oh man, this is gonna be a bad approach. Look at how foggy it is down there. And I told you, I told you, I'm just like, watch me say it, and then we go into like a full blown thunderstorm, right? All right, we're about uh, 2,000 away from reaching out there. Two thousand five hundred. Oh, chill. This right here looks amazing. I gotta take a photo of this. I might have just made a new thumbnail. This looks amazing. This bad weather. Amazing. Look at those clouds. This is default stuff we're talking about. For 2006. Dang. Wow, I did not expect that. I had my thing opened up and I'm looking at this video thing. A freaking squirrel just got flung across the fence. Wow, dang, what a trap. Rude people. It's currently, oh, what's the temperature here? Well, we had a really bad uh, winter snowstorm in April, and we were experiencing 30 degree weather in like early May. It was like 30, like 20 to 30 degree weather in May, and uh, now we're experiencing 70 degree weather, which is really, really nice. I don't know, warm weather, you know? But this weather, we got people coming in from California, and they're wearing like winter winter clothing 
they're wearing winter clothing and they're like he's wearing shorts <laughs> he's crazy you know man this nose of mine might destroy his landing I tell you it's the co-pilot when he sneezed you know just messed up my whole sinuses and symptoms Not so can't breathe Back to work. This dude says it so slowly. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Zero. Oh, too fast. Hope that didn't just mess me up. Hold on one second. That would suck if it messed me up. I gotta slow down. You know I mean? You make an absolutely good uh, thing. Gotta slow down. There's the land just over there. I tell you, this is like really bad weather here. Won't be scared of the turbulence. Oh, land's right there. Heck are we? How? F oh, I hear ya. Sorry, I was trying to pay attention. Man, okay. I'm removing autopilot. Uh, and yeah, we're taking, we're booking it this way. Okay, this is bad. I don't want like to go this way. I don't want to decrease. I want to just... Hopefully it doesn't do what it did yesterday. Flying into uh, Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta, Chicago O'Hare. And I was flying really slowly. I was at like 155 knots because I saw Matt Davies flying that, that, that high or that, uh, that slow. And so I'm like, okay. So I fly that slow and my aircraft does something super weird where like um, it, uh, I, for some reason I was trying to speed up and it wasn't speeding up, it kept going so slow. And I'm actually still not sure why, I think it was because I was so low or something. I was at flying at like 1,500 feet. So it could have been that or something else. Um, but. It was, it was weird, and I was so scared. But then I was able to land successfully, so it was good. So, so you guys see that that station, that building right there with, like, the four chimneys, and then it's got that big white one? They actually just took TNT and demolished that building. There's a freeway that runs about, hang on, let me show you, about right there. And we, when you're going into the Cleveland, if you're not taking a train or anything, uh, you'll pass that. But they just took TNT to that coal building. Uh, and then we have Burke Lakefront right here. There's a tiny airport and the air show is always over there. So it's kind of interesting. We'll be flying over. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to land. Please remain I want to fly faster. I don't feel good this slow, but then again. I need to trust the aircraft more. You know, why don't I put it into unmanaged speed mode, right? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and stuff like that. They did an amazing job on this scenery pack, though. There's the Key Bank. 
uh, and other buildings and stuff like that in the freeway. So, it's good. It's good. I hope that I don't sound really sick in the recording. Because that would suck really badly. I want to sound uh, good and not totally sick and miserable. And that moment when you're sitting on your bed, you know, at night, and you remember, you're reflecting on the times when you could breathe. <sighs> you're decreasing speed. I don't want you to decrease speed. Go up and help. It's probably because we're so low, which is fine. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we'll fly right overhead. Brown Stadium right there. And then they had a they had a big uh, ceremony or something where they were going all it wasn't a ceremony. It was more like a rally or something. Then you got the courthouse, uh, that building that's just uh, right here, that building. Key Bank Terminal Tower is like right here. There's a big park right here and stuff like that. This building. There's a bank here. Fifth Third Bank. Oh, I think they even modeled in the, the words for it. Yeah, Fifth Third Bank, this one. I think just kind of interesting uh, when you when you live really close to a town you know and then you're like seeing exactly what's so accurate about it gear down i gotta say they did a pretty good job pretty accurate all right gear down gear down this city hall right here stuff like that it's kind of it's very interesting, you know, when you look at the scenery from a place you live, you know, and seeing exactly what has changed, and I gotta say, they made it look a little more realistic and way better than the uh, default version, of course. Alright, we got, let's, let's make ourselves a little uh, better aligned with the uh, runway here. I feel confident, okay? This is a good one. Better than my Innsbruck landing as of right now. Innsbruck, everybody and their three brothers were yelling at me that I didn't know how to control an aircraft. Think about it. I don't have a co-pilot, okay? That co-pilot, that guy that's talking right next to me, he's only there to sneeze and make me sick. Runway 2 right. Runway 2 right. Clear to land. Delta 7901. Make ourselves a little better aligned with the runway here. I'm going to nose drop it if this thing doesn't get any lower, okay? <laughs> Not really. That would be very dangerous and bad, and a lot of people would probably die, and bad stuff would happen. Bad stuff would happen. I hope my microphone's not too loud. I apologize if it is. I recorded a video a little while ago, and my voice was so, so just not, not even hearable. Runway 2A. There's a there's a third runway and they never use it. And I don't know why. Like I don't even know what the point of that runway 1, is. One thousand. One thousand. Maybe they had it just because they wanted it or something. I don't even know. You can see the lights for it over there, and then over there is usually a. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna focus here. That then approaching two four right unstable unstable five hundred we're good we got this we got this we're good four hundred <gasps> no don't do that four hundred 300. We'll do that. Approaching minimum. We're good. We got this. Look at this. We're good. Look at those lights. That's 200. Amazing. Minimums. 100.
70, 60, 50, uh, 40, 50, 40, 30. Oh, unstable. Long landing, long landing. Long 20, landing. retard. Hard retard. landing. Retard. Uh, reverse thrust set. Yes, reverse thrust set. You gotta set this thing. I don't know why that doesn't set. We got this. We're landing. Look at this. It's pretty good landing. Remaining. All right. It was a good landing. We were a little high. I was a little nervous, and then we started gaining knots. altitude. Two thousand feet remaining. All right. Could have been better. Could have been better. I'll admit, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Okay. It wasn't Please bad. Let's face it. I'm a I'm a former Ryanair pilot. Okay. <laughs> I'm a former Ryanair pilot. What do you expect? All right, look how efficiently we got off the runway. Okay, that's what everybody in Batsim needs to do. Have the hard-ass landings and then get off the runway. After you absolutely kill everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our destination. On behalf of the captain and crew, we thank you for flying with us today and hope you will join us again. Right, could have been way better after the met. I think we have, yes, we have a United aircraft right behind us. He's also in an Airbus. Modernized uh, United aircraft. Alright, I got it. Let me get my stuff set up here, though. Turn off that, turn that off. Uh, turn that down. Turn off that, turn off that. Well, that running um, Alpha 4 he said right gate Alpha 4 uh, no follow me I'll, we'll go there on our own it's fine I don't even think they have follow me vehicles here handled by Frontier Airlines okay so he wants me to go this way right Tanko is probably way down there so Tanko Golf Okay, so this is Tanko, the one we're on right now, and then we'll turn to golf, and we're, we'll get everything from there, okay? It's raining. Of course it's raining, right? All right, I have to admit, yesterday's landing at uh, Cord was way better than today. But whatever. And then my game crashed, so I couldn't savor it. It was because we started gaining altitude, and we didn't just float it down, you know? Oh, hello. So, what we are currently on is an abandoned runway. No, <coughs> not yet. We're not on an abandoned runway. So, you see those green lights right here? This one right here? That is actually an abandoned runway. That is two four centers, six center. Um, all right, so we got to take this all the way to golf, which is over there. Um, I had, they abandoned the runway because it's too short. And today, it makes up Runway Charlie. Not Runway Charlie. Um, it makes up Taxiway Charlie. And they actually have an X on the runway to discourage pilots using it. Um, and today... Uh, they use it as a taxiway. It's got big letters that say taxi on it. It's a Continental. That's the aircraft that was right behind us. Somehow he managed. Alright, we got off the way because this guy's going to be right in front of us. How about we follow company or something? Company of the uh, Continental. Following company of the Continental aircraft that is just so happened to be in front of us. I don't know how he landed that short. Like, come on now. Like, how? I used the whole runway. Hey, if they give me a full runway to land on, I'm going to use it. 
All right, we got to turn at this next taxiway up here. And there is another Continental, looks like. Yeah, Continental 7th. Wow, that was a hard landing. Dang, did you see that? Whew, that was a hard landing. All right, this, this Continental is going to be slow. Hey, is everybody okay? I'm just being violent on the inside. I mean, let's face it. I only use the dive of death maneuvers. Yes, of course, he's going to also be ahead of us. Let's turn on some music. Oh, I hate this song. That sounds annoying. No, it's not. There you go. That one sounds better. Hey. Hey. Everybody should be glad they're alive, right? Approaching zero six center. Zero six center or two four center, which is actually abandoned. They don't use it anymore because it's too small. It's, a, it's an abandoned runway, so we have nothing to worry about. Is he take a guy taking off? Is, is there a guy in final? Let's see, what did he tell that guy to do? United? Well, this was a United. No, this is United. That was the other, that's the Continental. This is the United aircraft. And why is he holding short? United hold position caution the 757 on flight. Oh, it's that guy right there. Man, we've had a lot of Continentals and United aircrafts coming in. Continental ain't even an airline anymore. They actually were uh, defunct back in uh, 2012. I hate when my mouse does that jumpy thing. And then, we got a fully darkened aircraft over there. <laughs> Dang. Southwest. Little American Eagle. Delta, Delta MD-88 looks like. Why is that guy still his flaps out? Oh, this is gonna be a hard landing. Look at this guy, man. That, that aircraft, like, I don't know, the 757. I've really never taken a good look at the 757. Man, this guy's coming in on a high approach. Hey, who we got over there? Oh, that's the Delta. Okay, that was a pretty smooth landing. That was a smooth landing. It was smoother than the, the Continental behind us. The Continental 737. Whoa, he just disappeared. He just disappeared. Okay. Ooh. Oh, stop before you can smack into the back of the aircraft. Woohoo! That guy would have just totally destroyed us. How close was I to actually hit it with? Yep, not too far off actually. Dang. That uh, 737 over there I'm trying to stay off of this abandoned runway right here because it's too short. Yeah, 
they don't use it because it's so short, you know? Like here, take a look from the above above view of it, like how nice this looks from the air. But see how short it is? Versus like the two other runways. And then we have this runway 28 over here. And I don't know what it is for. I've never seen aircrafts landing at it. I've never seen anything, and that's real life I'm talking about. They've all been uh, yeah. they've always landed too far. Maybe it's like a backup runway or something for general aviation or who knows. That Continental 737 behind me taxiing. Things will be fine. I wish that they had rain effects on the windows. This is destroying my frame rate, so maybe I should just shut these off. So nice if they did. I guarantee it would destroy my frame rate, so I'm playing in Windows mode, so I don't know why it's like doing all that. We've been recording for almost two hours. Because I started recording at 7.48 a.m. It's 9.31 right now. Friday. Happy, happy uh, Saturday. What? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. I'm following company real quick. Hold on. I totally just totally forgot. Totally, totally, literally. Totally just forgot where I was going. Hold on. Let me turn on this. Record. Okay, yes. We're supposed to taxi down here. I'm like, wait a minute. What's my next uh, thing I'm supposed to land at? Tanko, Golf, Romeo, Lima. We are currently on Lima. And we're supposed to be going to Juliet Yankee. Got uh, two other aircrafts on final over there. Juliet, Lima, Juliet Yankee. Got two other aircrafts over there. 747, hopefully. Nope, say 320 series. Maybe not, actually. I think that was not. Juliet. Yankee. There's Juliet. Wow, we're taxiing out over there. We're going Juliet Yankee. There's Yankee. So we're over there somewhere. I can probably get myself center line real quick, slow down our aircraft. No longer are we flying in the company of the United. And necessarily, you're not flying in company. You're just flying in company of that aircraft, I guess. Oh, he's going around. Yeah, he's going around. No way he's landing. Yeah, he's going around. I think he was too high. So even the air traffic controller was like, dude, you got to go around or you're killing everybody inside like the, the United, uh, <coughs> what's it called? 848 or whatever. All right, so we got to go straight. Because then we're going on to Juliet, so... See right there's Juliet. Oh my god. Slow down. Get ourselves perfectly centered of the line again. I don't know where that one Airbus went. Oof. Let's drop that again. My little thing that I have over here. Alright, so Yankee is to the right. We've got a whole bunch of uh, buildings over here. It's the Delta. Our family, fellow Delta Airlines. Wait a second, right here? No, not right here, because that would be going into that gateway right there that yeah, that United aircraft is waiting on. 
right here. This is parking me at a general aviation gate or something. Because that's kind of funky. I don't know why he would be parking me at a general aviation. There we are. We're supposed to go this way. Oh look, and we even have a jetway. This is amazing. Perfect. I like having jetways because it makes it a little more realistic. Oh, it's not raining anymore. If only it wasn't raining when we were on final, you know? I thought he said cotton era. Maybe he'll do a dance for us if we get this perfect. I feel like I'm having like some sort of ceremonial thing going on here, how everybody's just waiting about, you know? myself on the brakes because I want to get this perfect. Engine off. <gasps> Woo! Forgot my APU systems. Holy crap, this is bad. Hold on. Totally forgot my APU system. Very good parking. Wow, that was the first time. Is he gonna dance? He didn't dance. No, oh, he didn't dance. I missed it. That was perfect parking. Man, this was the first time I parked so good. Look at that. All right, let's get our jetways. Get our jetway and everything about. We really don't need this. I totally forgot to put my APU on. I'm like, I need to get my APU on when I land. And I was even thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, I need to get that running. And then I totally forgot to put it on. What was I thinking? Bad piloting skills, obviously. Always, there's something that happens whenever I'm flying. I tell you. I'm going to turn off our pumps. Turn off our pumps here. All right, traffic cones, wheel chocks, external power, exit power. All right, our jet bridge is going to be attached to us. We're going to get deep boarding going. Voila. Okay, that was that was a little bit of an iffy landing. I won't say it's the best. I could have done better. I did better yesterday. Oh, and it's raining again. Perfect. Because, you know, obviously it's going to be raining again. If you notice, uh, when it's raining, the stairs have like a little cover over them. I think that's kind of cool how they do that. American Airlines. having uh, the cargo in place that maybe I should uh, take a picture of this or something with the United logo right here. Hey, let's not get United in here. Come on now. We're a Delta Airliner. We're supposed to be very loyal to our Delta Airline facility. Four minutes to deboard. Holy crap. How does it take you guys so long just to deboard? 
77 people? Now, I mean, if it was like an E380 or something, you know, that has like 800 people, then, you know, I'm going to understand, but come on now. Look at that freaking uh, uh, cargo vehicles in the middle of the uh, um, unloading vehicle. That's so cool how, like, when you are loading with, uh, you, like, American airliner equipment, that when you unload, it has American airliners on it. That's so cool. I like how it does that. Technically, we are, for some reason, we're handled by Frontier Airlines. Now, we only had two, I think, two cargo things loaded in. So, whether or not that's actually what's going to happen, I really don't know. American Airliners livery. Continental, Continental, Continental. Clearly, we are in an American Airlines um, gateway or jetway or whatever. And we have a UPS parked in the parking, uh, or the uh, two of them to be exact, parked in the terminal. Actually, the cargo bay is just over there where there's that like brown terminal building. I don't know why they're loading in something totally different, but you know, whatever. Alright, so I apologize. Apparently Frap stopped recording again. So I am recording with my other game capture device, Open Broadcaster, because I don't know what the deal is. I apologize if the graphics are very bad. Um, uh, but I, I don't know why Fraps is not recording. Uh, Fraps just totally crashed again and isn't even open, so I don't even know what happened. It's kind of funky. But if you guys have never seen Open Broadcaster, this is Open Broadcaster. You can use it for live streaming and all that good stuff. Um, obviously, I don't have good enough internet for live streaming, but it's a good device. I like it. Secondary to fraps, but if I could only make the graphics a little better. Let me get this on full screen so I can see. Yeah, it looks kind of fine on my other screen, but then I like look at the after recording and it looks really bad. 31 seconds for 11 people to deboard. Come on now. We have, like, things we got to do. I have, like, got to clean this aircraft and all this stuff. And the longer it takes for y'all to get out of the aircraft, the longer it's going to take um, for y'all to finish. But, yeah. Perfect. Okay, just trying to see if that's working properly. I can see exactly what I'm recording on my other screen, so it's really nice. It's really... I, I, I like Open Broadcaster in the sense of when you exit whatever you're looking at, it doesn't just stop recording like Fraps does. So, like... If I was to minimize out of uh, f FSX, Fraps would stop recording. Sometimes. Only once has it ever stopped recording. Captain, all passengers have left the plane. Perfect. It's shut down. Can shut down everything for right now. And everything is good to rock and roll. Perfect. Our aircraft is off and everything is good. Now I think I think this will work. If I press end flight, will it work? <gasps> it does. Look, you guys can actually see every my kind of like end flight display scene because I'm using Open Broadcaster. Perfect. You made a very nice landing. Perfect flight. No problems. Very satisfied passengers. You landed at scheduled airport. Extreme weather conditions during approach, but the landing satisfied passengers. So we made $831,000 from flight fleet income. Um, negative $3,696 for fuel costs, 553 for services, but we made $1,055 uh, uh, for service income. For hot food and drinks, we did not serve sandwiches. Uh, we had a total of $3,500... Um, we had a total of $3,500 for fleet, uh, for cargo, and then we had $17,366 for ticket income. So that was pretty good. Perfect landing. Considering that your flight was perfect, the ticket price low, the, the service price good, the service quality bad, passengers on your flight think that their reputation should be 100%. Your company reputation is now 72.58. That's a 2.74% increase. Um, they are relieved that the landing was safe after an extreme landing, uh, or extreme weather, 
they experienced during the landing. They hated that they could not see the entire movie. They were in a better mood because they had food and were pleased for the music in the background. It was a very nice addition to their fighting, uh, fighting, flying experience. Delta 6, 9, or 3. Airbus, all that good stuff. Very nice. Our cruising altitude. 25 minutes for cruise time. No, 10 minutes. 10 minutes at cruising altitude. 25 minutes cr uh, climbing. And then our descent time was 23 minutes. So we really didn't spend that much time at cruising altitude. Um, but that was pretty good. Let's record this flight. Awesome. And if it's not going to crash on me, why is it? Oh. Oh. It almost said it wasn't responding. All right. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Tomorrow or the next episode, I don't know when it's going to be. Tomorrow, you'll see this video, Saturday, June 2nd. I hope to finish Airport CEO and get some of that stuff uploaded. Um, and then I think I'm going to try to finish up uploading Far Cry. I don't know if I'm even going to continue Far Cry. It's such a long game. Um, and then we'll work from there. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.